Admiral's Log, December 5th, 1932. Here we are, deep into our invasion of French Guinea, and what's on the horizon? None other than a Japanese fleet, steaming right toward us. Now, this begs the question, have the Japanese really sailed all this way just to start a scrap with us? It seems they might have, and if so, we're in for quite the show. Let me tell you, the sight of their fleet got me thinking. On one hand, it's a bold move, crossing half the world just to dance with us. On the other hand, it could be a fantastic opportunity to test out my big gun doctrine. After all, what better way to see if our strategy holds water than a surprise showdown with an unexpected guest? But let's not forget the humor in all this. The idea that the Japanese fleet would come all this way for us. I had to double check the map to make sure we were still in French Guinea and not accidentally floating off the coast of Tokyo. Jokes aside, we're taking this seriously. We're prepping our ships, readying the big guns and setting the stage for what could be a memorable encounter. The crews in high spirits, mixing a bit of apprehension with a healthy dose of excitement. There's chatter among the sailors, bets being placed on the outcome and more than a few laughs about who gets to claim the title of world's most traveled aggressor. As for me, I'm ready to welcome our distant adversaries. Let's see if they're here for a fight or just lost their way looking for the nearest sushi spot. Either way, the Soviet Navy under Admiral Sokolov is ready for action, and I promise it'll be an engagement to remember. So, here's to unexpected visitors, and the chance to show the world what our big guns can do. May the seas be kind and the battles memorable. Hold on tight, comrades. It's going to be an interesting day. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to episode 34. I'm working on an invasion in French Guinea and unfortunately the Japanese, of all people, have come to interdict. Now, I have a couple of battleships and a battle cruiser over here. The Japanese have sent, well, a lot of cruisers led by a battleship. <clears throat> it's the Hiryu, and it's seemingly an older design. It has only a couple of 14-inch guns. I'm not that worried about this ship. I'm worried about all of its friends. Because the heavy cruisers are sporting 18 torpedo launchers, and that's not even counting the underwater ones. The light cruisers are sporting 20 torpedo tubes, plus 6, plus 4, that is 30 torpedo launchers on one ship. And they have a lot of those. And then there is destroyer speedboats doing almost 43 knots and also carrying 16 torpedo tubes. This is going to be a torpedo fiesta. And I hope it's going to be a fiesta and not a disaster because this really is a target rich environment for me. So I'm very much hoping that I'm going to get a lot of stray shells which um, accidentally wipe out some destroyers and ideally light cruisers too. So we're going to set everything to HE, the high kinetic HE or the, um, what do you call that? You know, the high capacity HE, the one that immediately wipes out a cruiser. They're going to have to do a lot of work for me. That battleship with 14 inch guns, um, like I mentioned, I'm not that scared of that. I just want to see how the rest of the fleet performs. Let's see. Now, of course, some of my ships have already been out here for months trying to deal with all of these enemies. So, for the time being, <laughs> they're a little damaged. Not great. Not great. Heavy Cruiser Standard's also here. Could be very valuable in this fight with all of those 8s and 9s that she has aboard. Uh, the Dortsky and the Rahazyashi, or something to that effect. Uh, yeah... The Dirtsky is not going to take part. Way too damaged. And it can still be more of a strategic asset on the strategic map. In the sense of destroying submarines. Because it is capable of doing... Well, it's, of course it's not going to be in here. It has ASW capabilities. Uh, this destroyer... I'm just going to keep it following the battleship group. Let's see where the enemy is at. I would not at all be surprised if they are going to find me way before I find them. Because my technology is lacking behind everybody by the looks of it. And that is probably going to mean they will see me 
and they might even be able to torpedo me from outside of my visual range. We're at five times speed contact. There's the battleship. Oh, they've been traveling for a long time. They're low fuel. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Unexpected. Unexpected. Slow down, gentlemen. We are not in a hurry. We just need to get rid of some of these ships. Like all of them. And ideally, that would instantly conclude the war with Japan. Because I'm not that interested in fighting a war with them. So, considering that my fleet's not even in Asia, I'm very surprised that they came looking for my fleet. I'm kind of welcoming of that as well. I don't mind them coming to look for my fleet. Because it saves me the trouble of having to get my fleet all the way over back into Asia. And start dealing damage to the Japanese. If they want to come and get the damage, then by all means. Here we find the heavy cruiser. Hello. Yeah, all sorts of torpedo tubes. Interesting turret setup there on the secondary tower. You're sporting what exactly? 10 inch guns. Short barrel tens by the looks of it. What's the range on those tens? Crap, lost visual again. These smoke screens are making it very difficult to get a good look at that fleet. Torps to 8. 10 inch guns to 13.7. That is something that the Germans do way, way, way better. Okay. What can we actually hit? We can hit quite a bit. I don't care for the heavy cruiser. I care for the light cruiser. I'm going to start giving my ships individual orders. So you're going to target this. You're going to target that. You're going to target that. And you're going to target that. And ideally, this way, they will not be interfering with each other's targets. So target splashes. Or gun splashes. And considering we're spreading our fire out, we might accidentally get more, let's say, splash damage. And not splash damage in the sense uh, we're destroying dolphins. No, splash damage as in I might accidentally hit something that I'm not strictly targeting myself. Is that a light cruiser? No, it's a heavy. I have also taken some damage. I wonder who did that, because that was not me. There we go. 2,700 points of damage against what I suspect is a light cruiser. Because a DD might have very well been wiped out. Is that a light? No, it's another heavy. Good lord. We're going to have to demolish the entire Japanese heavy cruiser group. Keep in mind, most of their ships are heavy cruisers. That's a light cruiser. That's all the torpedo launchers. Right there on the bow. Amidships, two tubes. Loads of tubes on the stern. Main gun-wise, they're just... I don't know, they're there for show, I guess. These things are extremely dangerous in a torpedo fashion. 10 kilometer range. Yeah, they're definitely getting better at trying to hit me with torpedoes. Torpedo range is getting pretty spooky at this point. Boom. That is potentially the end for the first light cruiser. There she goes. Excellent. These guys are going to keep sticking to each other so close, then so be it. On their head be it. Did you take a hit? It did. It must have been the battleship. Yeah. Is that thing that consistently accurate? Is it really? That would be unfortunate. Because that means we're going to have to... There we go again. We're going to have to prioritize that battleship over everything else. Because it's nice to eliminate these cruisers, but that battleship very much could be killing me off. As I'm trying to take shots at all these ships that are really, at this range, not that much of a threat. Um, yeah. I say focus the battle crew, well, the battleship here, but... It's be a little difficult to get some accurate shots on it. Constantly in and out of smoke screens. It's the OG Europa here, by the way, <clears throat> which is taking... What are you doing? Which is taking a bit of a beating. So is Sinop. Who's leading this party? Sinop, get out of the way. 
Range of the ships, 10 kilometers. Getting pretty scary at this point. Look at this blob. Come on, eliminate this thing, because those guns are really, really accurate. Put some secondaries on, uh, well, whatever you want, really. Good hits on the DDs, heavy cruiser taking hits. I'm getting a sense that they're not that heavily armored. I am really wrong. Holy moly. 15... No. That was the battleship. Uh, 8 inches of armor. Nothing really on the superstructure. Nothing really on the foredeck either. What about this guy? Mark 3, 14.6. Like I mentioned, not very quick, but it is pretty heavily armored. Yeah. Pricey too. 600 million. Why the hell did the Synop switch division? I swear that sometimes these ships just decide that they want to be in a different division. Without me giving the go-ahead. There we go. Flooding. Structural integrity. Maximum bulkheads, but cramped quarters. So you're going to start suffering the more I damage you. Challenge accepted. You. Join the big guys. Did we lose him again? No, there he is. Yeah, we're taking apart this battleship. 666 million. Europa? 375? I think the Synop's the biggest guy I have. 183? Yeah, Synop's 691. Makuma? 313 million for a heavy cruiser. Yikes. Alright. 8 kilometers out. They still can't actually shoot me. You... Th you think? No, they can. I was looking at the 10 kilometer range, but that's not the 10 inch. I want this battleship out of commission. That's by far the most valuable asset that they have right now. Put the secondary guns on Mikuma. You can do some damage to it. Great. If not, we'll just deal with it with the secondaries. Yeah, there she goes. A couple of fires on her. She's already lost a good portion of her crew. Many bulkheads and crammed quarters should make this a fairly easy target to deal with. There goes 20% of her crew. Yeah, these things cannot take a hit. My ships are just not actually landing hits, by the way. Mysterious Copic 3. I need to refit all of these ships. Coincidence 2? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I have a Coincidence 5 researched. It's a miracle I've actually hit something. Just imagine how much more effective my ships could be if I gave them all the refits that they desire. Maybe deserve is the better word. Synop, dude, what the fuck? Join this battle group. Thank you. It's not that hard. Just don't keep switching your divisions. Eliminate the CA. Oh, everybody's smoking up again. Alright. We'll push in a little bit. Just eliminate this lonely heavy cruiser. Before this thing starts to deploy that massive horde of torpedoes. This thing is leading a very adventurous lifestyle. Look at all the shells. Take some picture of that before it goes under. It's very maneuverable. And again, it does have low speed. Low fuel. What the fuck? Get in the div! It just... Did you see that? It just refuses. Synop. Join the division. 
And it jumps right back in Div 2? What the hell? What's going on here? Why are my ships doing this? I just... I don't understand. It's like they just randomly select a division that they want to be a part of. It makes no sense to me. That's good damage on that cruiser. More damage, please. Yeah, they're probably going to sink. I cannot take that many wounds. Switch fire to this, because all those heavy cruisers are coming through. We'll probably get some lucky hits in here. Yep, there it is. And now they're just manually switching to a battle... What the hell? Target this! I don't have AI on. Why are my ships manually switching targets? All by themselves. And there's the smoke again. The health on the standard is dropping. The integrity of the Synop is somewhat compromised, but she's still combat capable. No, actually, she's lost her main tower. Okay. Synop, listen up. Disengage from this fight. Right? Can you do that? Can you just increase speed to flank and try and run away? I would really appreciate that. Don't continue fighting. Don't suddenly decide that you want to rejoin the battle. Just leave. Don't come back here unless you've been repaired. Synops accuracy is one and a half percent. Yeah. I'm surprised that light cruiser actually made it through. Here you is out of HE. Could make her more dangerous. It feels very much like we're just randomly pumping shells into smoke screens at this point, because I'm not really getting the feeling that we're actually going to hit something. Oh, we're too close. We are way too close here. What is your range? Eight. Yep. Too close. That is good damage. Light cruiser gone. Okay. That's making me feel a bit safer. Getting up to 9 kilometer range. You did just launch against the heavy cruiser. Standard. Turn. Increase speed. Whoa, that's a lot of torpedoes. Good lord. And I'm glad that was a heavy cruiser that was angling away. If that was a battleship or a battle cruiser, I have a bit of toast. My ships are capable of taking some hits, but that is a stretch. You are still stuck with your 8km range on the torps. Good. Chihaya over there. Yeah, we're approaching her torpedo range. Okay. Uh, finish her off. We'll deal with the hear you in a minute. Come on. Finish it. Just a light cruiser. Pricey light cruiser at that at 185 million. But it's just a light cruiser. Come on, Europa. Show them what you got. We have switched targets to the battleship again. Yeah. About 10 clicks out from the Casa. Yeah, we're all focusing on to hear you at this point. Okay, fine. There's going to be a bit of a challenge penning this thing. Bow and Stern are okay, superstructure is okay, but the rest is pretty impervious. Yeah, look at that. Okay, secondary. Options, HE. Just start blasting the crew. Maybe we can eliminate the crew. Or at least to such an extent that they'll not be able to deal with the fire damage. 
As for their damage done, 14k, it's not that bad. Once they start adding torpedoes into the mix, this becomes vastly more dangerous. And their numbers are going to jump. Substantially. Come on, finish this thing off. We are inside of their torpedo range. Eliminate this cruiser. Half the ship is full of water, it has no propulsion. Get it! 4,000 points of damage and you're not dead? That's more like it. Okay. So now the next one's about 10 kilometers out. We can once again start pushing in slowly. Refocus our efforts on the battleship. What the fuck? Why is the Europa leaving the div? Thank you very much. That was either some precognition shit, or I'm not sure what that was. But that little <laughs> stunt did save Europa. Go over to this battle line, Europa. We're gonna start murdering some cruisers. Fuck that battleship. These guys are pricey. Like, two cruisers is the same price tag as one heavy battleship. 13% accuracy. 33% accuracy. Oh! That's the bastard who was torpedoing my ships. You piece of... Get him. All the secondary guns. Heavy cruiser is going to be toast. Destroyer is taking some hits. Doing remarkably well with survivability. There goes Kassa. Now, the standard has already retreated. No, it has not. Where's the other DD at? Other side of the globe. Okay. Yeah, this battle's probably going to last a little bit longer. Let me finish this thing up. The battle lasted for a good long while after, and pretty much all of my ships, my battleships, were out of ammo. It generally doesn't happen. Fortunately, the Japanese were starting to run low on ships. I did sink their battleship, I sank a couple of their heavies, all their lights, and a few of their DDs. Giving me 35,000 victory points in one battle. Hopefully, this is going to make the Japanese come to their senses. It has definitely made me come to my senses in the sense that I need to refit my ships. And ideally, in a hurry. So it is time to start looking at some of the older ships. And, well, I am going to have to pull them off of a naval invasion, which is something I'd rather not do. And get them back into a port. But I'm going to have to do that anyway, because they've already been damaged and their ammunition supplies are exhausted. As a fighting force, they're no longer that adequate. Uh, yes. <laughs> the Japanese instantly won peace, which really works out for me. Let's see. What is this? This is not good. They want to take Lithuania from me. Um, I don't really have an answer to the Germans at the moment. Unfortunate. Did I take control? No, we're still working. Five for six. Ah, 52% chance. Okay. Well, let's have a look. What sort of ships do we really need to get upgraded? The Europa class, 1924. Let's get these guys overhauled. What can we give these guys that will make them better? They do really have quite a lot of displacement available, so it should not be difficult to give them a far better rangefinder. Considering the way that these guys fight, I think the stereoscopic five, sorry, four is better for what they need. Because their long-range accuracy is what they really need at the moment. It also means that shell interference, so splash interference, really isn't that big of a deal. Turf rotation speed, we can upgrade that. Reload, we cannot. We can give them a sonar array. Give them TNT3. Uh, they're currently sporting light shells, but considering the threat, I don't find that enough anymore. So we're going to go to heavy shells. We're firing semi-ballistics, which gives me a pen of about 12 inches. At 10 kilometer range. That's starting to suffer against cruisers. So we're going to go upgrade to that capped. Now we're looking at 21 inches of pen. Unfortunately, I don't really have modern armor available yet. 
Uh, Anti-Torp is good. Triple Hull Bottom would be a nice upgrade. Citadel, Anti-Flood 3. Reinforced Bulkheads were good. Um, I still don't have base oil. Can I make these like 27 knots? Nope. 26? Nope. Okay, you're going to stick to 25 knots. Outside of these upgrades, the guns are Mark 3, 14 inch. I have 15 inch, but they're only Mark 2. I can give them 14 inch guns as opposed to these 13s. Oh, sorry, no, they are sporting 14s. Never mind. With a reload of 73 seconds, that's quite long. Quite long indeed. Did I give them long barrels? I didn't. Interesting. Okay. Well, I think this is going to be enough of an upgrade for now. Six months. To basically attach a couple of rangefinders. Um, because, yeah, okay, and a whole new armor scheme. I guess that too. So that's the Europa. We still have a few more ships that we need to overhaul. Because we also have, what was it, the Chesma class from 1924? No, I didn't have these in the battle, but I still need to overhaul them. Because they too, I mean, they have a very old tower. That tower, and especially in tandem with that rangefinder, is just not good enough. Build a refit. And let's get this thing refit into something a bit more modern. You are sporting what tower? Advanced Tower 2. So that's this one. I can try and get an Advanced Tower on there. Long range accuracy is still dreadful. It's only 12. Mm. Go to Stereoscopic Range Finding. Go to Sonar. TNT 3. Better turret rotation. Oh crap, these guns have... The guns got bigger and because of that they no longer fit. You're sporting 14 inchers. These are 9 inch mark 4. That's a really, really potent weapon. I can't put them on there. Let's take these things off. Take these things off and put them back into a slot where they actually do fit. Seven months for this. Yikes. Better armor, please. You're still using gear turbines. That's fine. You're using induced boilers. That's not necessarily fine. That's going to add another month. Isn't that lovely? I better try and go to peace with these people because I need my ships in dry dock. I need to get them refit. Punch-wise, they should have plenty. 22 inches of armor pen with AP shells and pretty decent with HE as well. Armor-wise, I find that the belts on these ships are not spectacular. Let's increase the belt. Let's see if we can get to 10 inch. Maybe 11. We can get 6 on the outer edges. That would really help with buoyancy. Oh, we're maxing out on main armor. Well, that is not great. Um, I guess we're going to extend the armor to the belts then. 8 months. Yeah, should be good enough for this ship. Okay, so that's the Chesma 1932 refit. And what else do we have out there? We should have a Kuban out there somewhere. Is that the Perm? I think the Perm is one of the Kubans. So that ship also very much deserves an upgrade. Because it's or is it a Kaluga? Anyway, let's have a look at the Kaluga. Hmm. You're that big floating gun battery with a couple of casemate guns. Okay. Kaluga was originally designed probably well over 10 years ago. Yeah, Crypt 3, Hydro 3, Stereo 3, though. That's not, not terrible. But we can do better. So, upgrade that to Stereo 4. Get Sonar 2. Enhanced loading is fine. Electrical turret rotation, better TNT. Um, how hard do these things hit? Yeah, not well enough. Let's go to capped. Actually, let's make these things really heavy hitters. This is going to blow the enemy to bits. 20 inches of pen. Give them heavy shells. Give them better armor schemes. Reinforced bulkheads. Check. Anti-flood. Check. 
Yeah, this is looking pretty decent. Let's give them four spoilers for better engine efficiency. It should boost their range by about... Yeah, about 2,000 kilometers. It's good. Outside of that, these four belts and aft belts need work. The four belt is very thin. Very, very thin. Let's increase the main belt. Let's increase the four belt. Increase the aft belt. And... Um, Look at that, $529 million for this ship. Very expensive indeed. I would like to field like the 15 inchers as an upgrade to the 14s, but right now I don't like the Mark II. I want to get a better gun on here. Because this fires every, what? Every 74 seconds, this fires every 107 seconds. That is a good 30 seconds longer, and I don't have time for that. Okay, beyond this... Like maybe upgrade the conning tower, turret armor. We're going to put that at 17 and a half inch barbettes. Now that is taking armor very seriously. These guns, 5 inch Mark IV. I also have the 8 inchers, but I'm not really sure where I would put those. Like I guess I could put a couple of 8 inchers here. But they won't turn that well. And next to the main tower, they probably don't even fit. But this does also offset the balancing issue that this thing has. I'm going to give these long barrels. And with that, get the range up to 15 kilometers. That should be a nice bit of extra firepower that these guys get. I know I'm not maxing out the ship yet. Let's give them a better auxiliary engine for faster repairs. And can we go to 30 knots? We can. Can we go to 31 knots? We cannot. That jumped 10,000 tons? No, sorry, 3,000 tons. 3 to 4. Okay, so that's the magic cutoff point. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't have to max it out, so I can easily upgrade it when something else comes out. That could be a big benefit to this ship. Next. Kuban class. It's an old battlecruiser one hull. It is really old but not necessarily obsolete, although the game seems to think different. These are packing 13-inch long barrels, I think. Yeah, 10-inch longer barrel. Stereoscopic 3, stereoscopic 4, TNT 3. Uh, what sort of shells are you packing? Capitalistic AP shells. It should be quite enough to go through most levels of armor. But let's give them a bit more, because I do find that I struggle a bit more than I like. Let's give them forced um, boilers. Survivability is pretty good. Yep. Four months of refitting. Isn't that lovely? Four inchers can be improved. Give me long barrels. Two inchers can also be improved. Give me long barrels. The eight incher, give me long barrels. Is that the eight incher? Yeah. Main tower. That's the old main tower. Can I fit the enhanced? I can. Good. That's going to give them a bit more long range accuracy. Not that much. But hopefully it helps a bit. As for other systems, let's give them sonar. So we can see the torpedoes coming my way. And I think that'll be good enough. How's armor? Ooh. Unacceptable. Because we keep getting pent there. Max out the main belt. Oh, wow, that is the max on the main belt. Oh, boy. Yeah, that means that these ships are going to be pretty fragile. Especially in the face of ships which suddenly, like those German heavy cruisers, have a lot of pen capability. That's pretty scary. Also pretty scary is going to be the bill to refit the whole fleet. Because I am putting so many ships in dry dock soon. And six months refitting at a very hefty maintenance cost is going to really drain the economy. All right, I think that's the most uh, critical ships. I'm going to complete this invasion off screen. And then we're going to have a look next episode and see how that goes. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know what your thoughts are on the new Admiral. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to using those new heavy cruisers. And considering how fast the new heavy cruisers are coming into service, I think we might see them in the next episode or another one after that. Thank you for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon for more.